Do you think the Arabs are so anti-Persian that they won't mind Israel and or the U.S. attacking Iran to avoid Iranian hegemony? Well, you keep on hearing from the people in the administration that, oh my God, don't worry about it, secretly and privately, the Saudis and the Egyptians and the Jordanians are saying, bring it on, as they did in 91. They urged us to go in 91, in the first in Gulf War I. So you hear repeatedly that inside the administration they're getting all sorts of signs that the, the Sunni leaders of those countries want to see the, uh, the Shiite uh, regime in Iran, as you say, the Persian, non-Arab, uh, they want to see them diminished. Um, uh, you know, what, one of the real tragedies of, of the press coverage we have is I, 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 I write a lot about Iran and I'm still doing it. I'm still in the middle of stuff. So um, let me just say that I talk to a lot of people in the intelligence community, and we have a lot of good people in our, biz, in our country. Not everybody is. They're not all, this is not all Cheney madness. There's some very good people who are very frustrated, obviously. Everybody I know has read very carefully every speech uh, Nasrola has made, particularly his September 22nd speech. If you remember, there was a headline about he talked something about having his rockets back, 20,000 rockets. 20,000 rockets were back. There was a half a million people he spoke to. Well, the text of that speech was uh, uh, everybody, everybody I respect in the government has knows everything Nasrallah says, views him as the most important figure going on right now, very restrained, believe it or not, in his, in, in his speeches, and making the point that um, we've done something. We've, we've beheaded the monster. We've actually won a war. We planned, uh, we thought, and we dug in, and we did what we had to do, and we've, we've hurt Israel. We've... We've crimped their style. Their arrogance has been cut back. And so what does Nasrallah say? He said, it's time for my, fellows, my, fellow, um, my fellow Arabs, and he's Lebanese, in, in Jordan, in Saudi Arabia, and uh, in Egypt. It is time for them to join us on the next real issue, the next important issue. We must work together and do what we did in southern Lebanon in the West Bank and Gaza, we must do something about the Palestinian issue, which is really interesting for a lot of people if that's going to be the next sort of goal, because the Israelis certainly have been uh, um, not beheaded, but demyth they've, been, they've been reduced in stature um, without seeming to lose much of the hubris. And so that's what's, what alarms me is to see what's going on in Israel. The move to the right, he's probably going to take in Lieberman, uh, the, the Russian. He's going to, not, not, not the Connecticut, the Russian, the, 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 the although, you know, we'd all vote him all there. Right. Okay. Well, anyway. let, me just, let me just add one, one thing to that. The, um, this is a ray of hope, the silver lining in the cloud. What a uh, Revolutionary Guard guy said, uh, why don't you Americans realize that we hate Arabs more than we hate the Israelis, and that we'd rather work with Israel to contain Arab power? than to work with the Arabs to contain Israeli well, There's a long history, you know, of that. Yeah, I know, Israel. but we don't recognize that. We, we sit, we, we, again, because of our ignorance, we go Muslim. They're all the same. They're not all the same. Uh, Scott, um, 